Okay, hi. I live alone. Um, living alone is great. It's pretty much the only way to do it, in my opinion. Um, until I get married, I'm probably gonna live alone. And that's fine. I like that. But, you know, it does get a little bit lonely around here. I feel like it would be nice if I had a pet. One time, I called an energy reader. Don't ask. I was like, what do you, what should I, what, what do you think would be good for me to do in my life? Like what, give me some advice. The energy reader told me I should get a pet. I called my parents and both of them were like, absolutely not. Well, they told me not to get a dog. There's just like no way I can have a dog because it's just, it's a lot of work. There's a lot of training that goes into it. There's a lot of like maintenance, whatever. And I'm a busy gal, even though I'm home a lot. I'm still kind of busy, whatever. It's just not a good idea for me to get a dog, but a cat is not, is a little bit less high maintenance, right? I was always anti getting a cat because cats can be really moody and like unpredictable and shit and it's like hard to find a, a good cat, you know what I mean? But recently I was on this adoption website and I saw this cat, this photo of a cat that looks exactly like my cat from home named Oliver. I immediately was like, I need to meet this kitten. Like I need to. He was like, my best friend. Like I loved him more than I even loved my dogs. But don't tell my dogs that. But like I love that cat. But when I moved to LA, the cat Oliver couldn't come with me because he kind of had, was all settled in at my mom's apartment. Like I didn't want to rip him out of his life. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go potentially adopt a cat right now. Um, I have this weird like emotional spiritual calling to this cat that I found on the adoption website. And it's a rescue cat, which is awesome because there's so many cats and dogs, but especially cats that are in these shelters that don't have homes. So it's really good to rescue. If you're gonna ever get an animal, rescue. I always rescue my animals. Anyways, I don't know if we're gonna get along, but today we're gonna go see. Maybe I'll end up finding a different cat that I bond with, who knows? But I weirdly have a calling to this cat, and I just called a few minutes ago and asked if the cat was still available, and he was. His name is Baby Boy, currently. Uh, we will definitely be renaming him if I adopt him. But anyway, we might literally go and I meet the cat and we don't get along, and then this whole video will just be scrapped. But if we do get along, then we're in for a fucking treat today, because <sighs> this is a big commitment, but I think I'm ready. It's like having a child. Like, it gives you something to nurture and take care of and love, and it's always there for you, and it will never stab you in the back. Anyway, let's go to the adoption center. Hopefully we get along. It's like trying to find your soulmate on Match.com. Very unpredictable, but could work out. No one knows about this, so it's kind of like, I feel like I'm going undercover. It's gonna be kind of weird if my friends come over later and they're like, so what's this fucking cat? And I'm gonna be like, well, it's mine. I mean, I don't wanna jinx anything, but it's kind of nerve wracking cause like you don't know if you're gonna get along with the animal. That's why I don't understand how people can like, like, or, like they can order animals online. Like, okay, <laughs> that kind of sounds sus. No, but like, you know when people, they buy the dog before they even meet the dog? Like, I don't know how people do that. I would be nervous that me and that animal wouldn't get along. It's like chemistry, it's like, being in a relationship with like another human being except as an animal, so it's not a, in a relate. it's not the same, but it's like kind of the same. Like you have to click with the animal, you know? But either way, I'm, I'm excited. Like even if I just meet the cat and even if it's not a good experience, at least I got to pet a cat, right? Okay, see so you at the adoption center. I am here. The adoption center is right here. Um, I'm gonna film with my iPhone when I'm in there because I don't want them to get scared by my big camera because sometimes I feel like establishments don't like YouTubers um, as they shouldn't. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. Oh my god. Look at what we have here. Meet Fettuccini. Oh my god, what did I just do? His name is Fettuccini, but I want to rename him because Fettuccini is not a good name. Originally I was saying I wanted to get a gray cat because it looked like my cat from home named Oliver, but I end up with this little guy because I felt like we bonded really well. I feel like I now have a child. I feel like we're really connected as one. We're kind of like a unit. Look at his cute little face. 
Sorry, I hate baby talk. I will stop now. Literally, like, what do I name him? What's it called? Gave him the name Fettuccine. So what if I name him something Italian to go along with the fact that his name is Fettuccine? Mario. No. <laughs> I could name him Luigi. Nope. Okay, keep trying. Comment down below what I should name him because I, like, genuinely don't know. He kind of looks like a Simon, but I don't really like that name, so. Hey, I'm gonna have to leave you in the cage for now, okay, buddy boy? Ew. Why am I talking to this cat so weird? I just seat buckled him in. Time to bring him home and see how it goes. I can't believe I just did that. I'm fucking crazy. That was literally one of the most spontaneous things I've literally ever done. Okay, time to go home. Um... Yeah, okay. I'm home. I'm in my guest bathroom right now, and we're gonna let little guy out. Don't have a name for him yet. What do you think? Okay, so I need to get some supplies for him. I have a few things, um, like some, like a litter box and some food balls. Hi. Hi. Okay, he has some water. Okay, let's set up his litter box just so he doesn't shit. You know what's crazy about cats that I didn't know is that cats don't need to be potty trained, which is fucking amazing. So that's good. Um, excited about that. Um, I'm also allergic to cats a tiny bit. You're probably like, Emma, why did you get a cat if you're allergic to them? Because I'm fucking lonely. I grew up with a cat and it was not a problem as long as I was taking my allergy meds, so. It's just a little life adjustment. It's whatever. I am already having allergies though, which is a slight issue. Cat litter, my favorite food. All right, so we're pretty set up here. As you can see, we got all the things we're gonna need. You like your new home? The lighting in here is shitty, but here's me and Bay. I need allergy medicine, holy shit. We need to go to the pet store, okay. The cat wasn't gonna be part of the family unless my friends met. The cat, right? Hello, he's so cute. <laughs> I'm choosing between the name Riley and the name Declan. Declan! I think Declan. 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 Guys, bring Declan slash Riley over here. Declan? What do we like better? One, Declan. two, three. Declan. Declan. Declan! Okay! You guys are gonna scare him. Declan, now we have a name. Declan is in the bathroom. Uh, eating dinner, and while I have him contained, I thought I would do a little haul of everything I bought at Petco. My friends were nice enough to go with me to the pet store so that I could buy shit for him, because I needed moral support. Okay, kitty beds. Um, don't know where I'm gonna put these yet. To be determined. Poop bags. Litter box mat. I got two. New litter box that is very technologically advanced. Okay, I got a fuck ton of toys. Favorite thing I got a collar, and it has little ducks on it. Also, I'm sorry, he's crying in the bathroom right now because I left him in there to eat so that he wasn't roaming around my apartment because he's not fully equipped to be doing so yet, so. Anyway, I got this magnet for my fridge that says Catitude. This was an impulse buy. I don't have any regrets. I'm gonna go put it on my fridge. More toys, and more toys. Oh my God, these cute marble bowls, come on. More toys. More toys, more toys. Like, hello, can we like cool it on the toys? Oh, I got in this thing that you hang on the door so they can scratch. Fun. And then I bought him food, but you guys don't care about that. So let's go check up on him. Let's see how he's doing. How you doing? Come here. Cute, let's see, he didn't eat any of his food yet, so that's bad, but okay. Wow, do you hear that purr? One of my main concerns with this little guy was that he wasn't gonna like me. Um, because if you think about it, when you get a cat, like, you know, you guys can have chemistry in the kitty store, but you never know if like, it's gonna be a good vibe when you get home. But so far, I think he likes me. Did he pee on the floor? My question is like, do I let him sleep in my bed tonight or not? He wants to come out and explore my apartment. I'm kind of nervous. Oh my God. He's my new bestie. Come over here. Okay, he doesn't care about me that much. It's hard being a new mom. Like, do I just let him run around my apartment or is that like a bad idea? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, it is late. It's like midnight. I look, oh, 
fucking like a mess. So far, vibes have been really good with Declan. Uh, we're chilling. Everything's good. Like, I don't know what he's doing right now. I'm letting him sleep in my room tonight. I set up, as you can see. We got a little, you know, litter box, water, food, the whole nine yards. We got a little toy mouse rat thing right there. Um, I don't know where he is. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Look how cute we are together. Oh my God, okay, he hates me. Um, okay, look how cute his little collar is. Wait, can you see it? Okay, that was a terrible angle of my armpit that I don't know if I shaved. He ate a little bit of his dinner. I mean, he's been so loving and affectionate with me, which is amazing, as you can see. Look at him all. He's very adventurous, as you can see. He's like walking all over me. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to bed. I don't know how it's gonna go with him. Like, I don't know if he's gonna wanna play when I wanna sleep. Like, aren't cats nocturnal? Nocturnal? Like, do they even sleep? So, I'm gonna go to bed, um, and I'll let you know how it goes. Hopefully he sleeps and it's not a problem. And if it is a problem, I will keep you guys updated. It's like having a newborn. Um, good night. Oh, I forgot to turn off my bathroom light. Fuck. Okay, now good night. Good morning, Declan. I almost forgot his name again for the hundredth time. First night went amazing. Literally like great. I slept the whole night. He didn't bother me at all. I did wake up and my water bottle was spilled over like he tr probably tried to climb on my nightstand. One of my plants fell over. Overall, um, I think he's doing really great so far and I think we're gonna be besties for life. So welcome Declan to the family. I hope you guys like him. That was kind of an adventure that I wasn't expecting. I think I'm getting sick, but I also might just be allergic to Declan. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys had fun. This inspires you to go get a little pet. Rescuing is really good. So I recommend it. Well, more more collabs with Declan are coming, so get excited. Also, if you hate his name, or if you like it, comment down below. I would like to know your opinion. Even if you hate it, I won't get offended, but it's too late now, I already named him, so. Okay, bye guys. Okay, have a good day, guys. Have a good day. Bye. Okay, bye.